Hi, everyone. Hi. We are uh, Kurt and Carrie Olson from the IDMI, the International Disciple Making Initiative. And we wanted to show you something that we teach in our trainings around the world when we're making disciples. And this is a personal uh, Bible study. It's called a three column Bible study. It's something that you can do by yourself if you want to really get the word of God into you and get God's perspective on uh, a certain topic. And so I'll just move this a little closer so you can see it. So there's three columns. Just take a notebook and divide it into three columns. And then the third column, just divide it in half. And in the first column, you just copy the scripture word for word, exactly as it's written in your Bible. And that will help you to memorize it as you, you know, look back at the Bible and then write it down and look back at the Bible and write it down. You tend to really press it into your mind uh, and then um, remember it for, for much longer. And then in the middle column, we recommend that you copy or not copy the word, but write it down uh, as you would say it, you know, how would I say that? If you were explaining this to your neighbor or a coworker, how would you say it in your own, um, you know, way of, of speaking? If you think about it, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all wrote down the, the life of Christ in their own words. And so this is just you writing down the word of God in your own words. And, and can I interrupt? Please do. Um, it also... When you write it in your own words, that is when you begin to understand what it's actually saying. And so that's the purpose of it is so that it shows that you are understanding what that scripture is trying to say. And it is actually the hardest part too to learn. It's not, it's not hard, but it's harder than copying it word for word is putting it, learning to put it in your own words. Sure, because there's many of us know a lot of scriptures, but we don't really know what they mean. So when you put it in your own words, you have to make sure you understand it. If you don't understand it, you can't write it in your own words. Uh, but the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth, and he will give you the wisdom. So if you don't understand it, ask the Lord to give you the wisdom, to understand what it means, and then uh, at some point, maybe not even that day, but he will, he will tell you what it means. Yes. And then in this third column, we recommend that you, um, in the top half, write down how you will obey this passage or how you'll put it into practice in your own life. How does God want you to live your life based on this truth that you wrote down uh, over here? And then just write that here. How will I apply this to my life? And then in the bottom of the third column, write down who you will tell. Uh, part of being a follower of Christ is sharing the truth, sharing the gospel, sharing the, the word of God with people who do not know it. And so uh, down here, write down who you will tell and uh, when you will tell them. And even though we're all in our homes and we're all in this uh, stay-at-home order or under these stay-at-home orders right now, you can still reach out to people with a phone call uh, over Facebook, Facebook Messenger, and you can tell them, hey, I was studying the Bible and you came to mind. Do you mind if I share with you what I learned uh, while or, you know, what I was studying when you came to mind? Most people would be receptive to that. Most people would be welcoming to that. Wow. So God brought me to your mind when you were studying his word. Yeah. What were you studying? And so don't be intimidated. Don't be afraid uh, of, of uh, sharing uh, with people what you're learning. Now, if you don't have a notebook, you can go to our website. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> and uh, the exact same layout is here on our website. We'll put the link uh, below this video in the description. You can just click on that, go there, and you can print these off if you have a printer that's connected to, you know, to the internet. You can print these off, and then you can do your Bible studies this way. Uh, and you can study, you know, go to BibleGateway.com and just search for whatever words uh, are, are meaningful to you. A lot of people are studying with fear and anxiety right now. So those are words you could search and then you can find passages that talk about how God will never leave you or never forsake you or where God says, do not fear, do not fear the, the pestilences and the pandemics and the, you know, that I'll always be with you and all of that. And so 
um, and, and get God's, you know, word pressed into your mind to help you to have his perspective as you move forward uh, through life in these uncertain times. Definitely. If you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below the video. We will do our best to get back to you as soon as we can. So thank you so much for watching this. And um, if you, again, just um, hope that it can in just increase or improve um, your study of the Bible and your personal study. Yeah, and ultimately your relationship with your Savior. Amen. We pray in Jesus' name. Yes, Amen. thanks for watching. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.